name is Orla Crow. I am a solicitor with Byrne Wallace. I am nearly 11 years qualified now and I work in the area of childcare. So we represent TUSLA in proceedings in court. I started out my career in commercial litigation in LK Shields and I trained there and I really enjoyed it but I did a trip to Haiti for two weeks volunteering over there and I just feel like it just completely transformed me to see it was a few years after the earthquake and it was just decimated there. We were over there helping to build houses and I don't know I just felt like that wasn't really good use of my skills so I decided to come back to Ireland and then work towards working in the area of human rights but focusing on something that I have expertise in so I went then looking for jobs abroad in human rights. I am in Byrne Wallace, we are the health care section in there, we're divided in two so one side represents the HSE and we represent TUSLA. Um, the main part of my role is that I um, represent the state in childcare proceedings, so if children are being taken into care, I um, act for the state in those proceedings. My day-to-day -day work is I'm down in the court all the time, five days a week, and um, running various applications. We work with solicitors who represent the parents in the cases. We have, um, deal with solicitors who represent guardian ad litems, and we're just running the applications in court all the time. Separately then I would advise um, social workers and so on on various child protection matters. Um, I also advise on children first and mandated persons people's rights. So really it's very much court based which I know is quite unusual for a solicitor um, but we do all our own court work. We don't really have barristers unless the case is extremely difficult and so we are the ones advocating in court then every day. Probably the most interesting project I worked on was when I went to Malawi with um, Irish Rule of Law International. It's an NGO set up by the Law Society in Bar of Ireland and they have um, a project that they run in Malawi. At the time there were four of us and we were all Irish lawyers working over there and we were seconded into the various criminal justice sectors. I was in the DPP's office over there and I was focusing on homicide and sexual offence cases. Um, I was working closely with the DPP over there, I was also working with the Malawi police while I was there and the judiciary and just helping to coordinate matters. We were in the prison a lot and um, so it was just a completely different experience, really grassroots level and I felt like as opposed to maybe some of the other work I did really made a difference on the ground and I just loved that. Probably my most prized work achievement again would be related to my work in Malawi. I know when we went over there, we went to every prison and, and kind of did a database up of everyone who was there because a lot of times the prison themselves don't even know the name of the inmates that were there. So we went through and we tried to find um, what state their case was at. So some of them, for example, they were convicted and they had their sentence and that was fine. Some of them though were um, they went through their full trial, they were found guilty, but they were waiting for the judge to impose a sentence. Others were waiting for the judge to actually decide if they were guilty or innocent. And when I say they were waiting, some of them were waiting five, six, seven years for that. And we found them there and they, they were still waiting on the judge and they would no way to advocate to try and get that answer. So we gathered their names, the ones that were awaiting judgment or they were awaiting their sentence. and we um, went to the judges involved and got them to deliver their judgments or got them to deliver their sentences. And while for the most part, um, some of them had still time to serve, some of them had their time served, and some of them were actually found not guilty after being in prison for six, seven years waiting for that verdict. So I felt like us being able to move that on for those prisoners was a huge achievement and it really did feel like you made a difference to those prisoners' lives.